This is a really cute flipbook animation about a dog trying to reach his treat and it's hanging from the ceiling and he tries to figure out a way to get it. To draw this, you just draw the bone, a bone shape on the string and it's dropping about uh, less than a quarter inch with every page. And the dog is kind of squatting down and then standing up and then squatting down and standing up. But he's just barely touching the bone. He can't reach it with his mouth. While I was drawing this, I wasn't sure how he was going to get the bone. But as I was drawing it, I thought, well, the light bulb goes on. He has an idea and he walks off of the page and then he backs up and he comes back in with a pillow. The pillow gives him just enough height that he is able to grab the bone. Here, I'm just tracing over the same picture and just moving the tail back and forth and giving it little, little lines to make it look like it's moving. I'm going to be doing a flip through page by page so that you can see the movement of the dog and of the bone and how the whole flip book plays out. So here I start with the bone pretty close to the top of the page and the dog he's just sitting there looking up and it's going to start dropping. The first five pages are basically the same. It gives you time to start flipping through and people can see the picture how it is going to begin and then about the sixth page, I start to let the bone drop about a quarter inch each page. I haven't drawn all the lines on the floor yet underneath the dog. A few of them are drawn in, but uh, you can always add that kind of little detail in at the end. The dog's mouth is opening and closing as though he's barking, and he's squatting down and jumping up, trying to grab the bone, but he just can't touch it. He's not, not tall enough yet. Also, this is a very easy dog to draw. It's an upside down U shape for his head and then it's a U shape toward the top for his ear and U shapes to the right for his snout and nose area and um, just a sort of an oval for his body and longer U shapes for his legs and just a little pointed shape for his tail. It's easy to put it all together. I think the main thing to remember with a flip book is with each page, you, it doesn't have to be perfect because the dog is moving and things are moving in the animation. And shapes and positioning of the dog will always be different. So as you flip it, it's going to look good. The dog has an idea and the light bulb goes on and his ears go up as though he's thinking and excited and the next thing he does is start walking off the page and all you have to do for this is move the legs forward and backward and just position your next page a quarter inch and move the legs and it will look like he's walking when you're tracing position your new page a quarter inch in the direction that you want the dog to be walking so here he's walking off the page so I am moving the tra my new tracing page to the left and just trying drawing what's left of the dog. And then you just retrace all the pages that you just drew to bring him back in. The hardest part about all of this is keeping your pages in order. I add in a lot of pages in between because sometimes I need uh, I need a hesitation where you see the picture longer and sometimes I need a little bit more movement in between my pictures so I don't usually like to number my pages I used to do that in the beginning but now I don't because when I add pages in between it kind of for me it makes it look messy when I'm adding in numbers so I'm kind of used to knowing where all my pages are supposed to be and the movement and then I could just add them in accordingly here is where he has pulled the pillow in and decides that he's going to step on the pillow and that will give him just enough reach to, that he can grab the bone. He pulls on the bone and the string is pulling there. You can see it pulling taut and then it's going to snap. So the kind of crinkles up and it pulls upward and the string starts to fall downward and little dog is happy. So he's going to lay down and he's going to wag his tail and smile for everybody.
Okay, this wouldn't be a Maryland Art Design flipbook tutorial if it didn't include a riddle. So the first dog riddle is, what do you get when you cross a frog with a dog? Answer, a croaker spaniel. Riddle number two is, what did the dog say when he sat on the sandpaper? The answer is, ruff, ruff. Riddle number three is, what do you get when you cross a cocker spaniel, a poodle, and a rooster? The answer is, a cocker poodle do. Okay, now that everybody's all groaned out, uh, we'll carry on with the tutorial here. Like I said earlier, you can add in the detail at any time, and I saved it till the end to add in all the lines on the floor. I'm first going to have a black and white flip through, then a color of the flip book, and then I'm going to have a color flip through. So I really hope you enjoy the way this turned out. 